Uh, cold soak is uh, uh, the process of uh, taking the, the grape juice that was freshly pressed and instead of adding the yeast to begin the fermentation, you don't add yeast, but you don't want wild fermentation. So you chill, you cool your mass. And when you cool it, then yeast cannot start, yeast needs heat in order to start fermenting. So you are really holding your juice in, uh, and allowing the enzymes that are present in the in in the fruit because you crushed it well, before you damage the cells the enzymes are still there but they follow a certain order and they are disciplined okay once you crush them then they go wild and everybody does what they should do and break down they break down the cells. They break the. They break down the cellulose, and uh, and then and this is exactly what you want. So when you're you're studying, it, then two or three days later, when all this happened, uh, in the beginning you have skins and flesh, that you hardly damage the skins in the crush, mm -hmm. but then when you two three days later it's all juice. Right, right, right. It's, everything is broken up. And then you add your yeast. And you so start you give the juice time to like really sort of develop its identity and its character and break down yeah, exactly. everything like without starting the, the fermentation, fermentation process. This is like called wild, cold natural. Yeah. yeah. This is called cold soak. Okay, beautiful. Okay.